Good morning. This will be the weekly reading for Scorpio, and I'm really excited about it because I am a Scorpio. <laughs> so I'm reading for myself too. Um, the first card that I got was the Judgment card. It's self-reflection. And what I'm getting with this card is, and this is really where I'm at in my personal journey too. Sorry about the spot on the card, <laughs> the light. Um, I'm still not all the way awake yet. I've been working a lot lately, so bear with me. Um, what I'm getting with this card is to not judge anything that's happening right now as good or bad. Everything that is happening is being divinely guided and everything is just like it should be in the current moment. Um, and this could mean that you need to go inward and to actually do some self-reflection and anything that comes up, just kind of look at it and try to figure out where it's coming from. And if you've watched my videos before, um, I talk about all the time about really healing and doing any type of inner work is all about looking at things in a different way. So when you change your perception and change your view of things, um, you're able to release that and you're able to release that judgment. And so that's what I'm getting from this card very strongly. And these, this is my um, Oceanic um, Tarot deck. This was the first deck I ever got, so it's kind of special to me. Excuse me, I'm still a little stuffy. I've had a cold going on or allergies or something. Um, this is the star card, and this is the Make-A-Wish card. Um, basically, and I always think about Disney, um, Wishing Upon a Star, and this is all about having hope, and this is all about what came to me yesterday was, and you always hear people talk about we create our own reality, but I actually was able to get a good grasp on this yesterday, and I was actually able to see that we really do, as souls, in physical form, the way that you manifest is by actually focusing on and believing in what you know to be true. I call this my list of what I know to be true. And even if I don't completely know it's true, I don't completely know what's going to happen, I focus on it like I know that it will, like it already has. And that's how the law of attraction works. Um, and, you know, you want to make sure that you're conscious of that because otherwise you will be manifesting all kinds of fears and all kinds of things that you don't want to come true if you don't actually focus on um, what you want, know exactly what you want. And this comes with self-reflection and really dealing with your fears head on. Otherwise, they will manifest into what you don't want, your worst possible fears if you don't clear that and then you'll be sitting up in like victim mentality like, oh, woe is me, why are these things happening to me? Because you align to them. Um, and then we have the King of Pentacles, we have the loyalty card. And what I'm getting with this is that This is all about your physical, your 3D reality. This is all about um, releasing things that no longer serve you. You know, and this might be a job that um, you no longer resonate with, that you no longer align to. And a lot of times we stay in situations, whether it be an unhappy relationship or a job that we don't like, um, out of a false sense of security. And when we do this, we're not really feeding our soul. Because when you're doing something that you love, and sometimes we even have to kind of fall back and be by ourselves for a while. That's where I'm at. In order um, for better things to come in. Because when you're actually doing something that you love, the money will come. So this is uh, about not being so focused on material things. 
but actually what really feeds your soul and actually what will really make you happy, truly happy. Um, because I do have the Four of Swords, a recovery card. So whenever I get this card, I always feel like um, you are recovering from some setbacks. But it's okay because, like I said, sometimes things are not for you anymore. And they get out of the way for better things. So a lot of times we try to hold on to shit that, like, we're not even supposed to hold on to anymore. And it's all about really surrendering um, to the universe and just not resisting anything that's happening right now. Because, like I said, better things and better days are coming. Um, we just have to have faith. It's all about having faith. And, you know, and, and this recovery card goes with this self-reflection card. Um, you know, and you could be dealing with, you know, some sort of substance abuse. Um, and once again, that involves self-reflection. Just trying to figure out um, why you're trying to self-medicate or what you're trying to avoid right now. Um, because I do have the mature woman and the mature man card. And these don't usually come out together, but they did this time. So what I'm getting from this is that everything that's happened so far has caused you to grow and to mature. And you're not the same person that you were yesterday. We're not even the same person that we were yesterday because we're never stagnant. Um, every, you know, the energy's always moving. We're always changing. We're always growing. We're always evolving. And you don't want to go back, you know. Um, and really, time doesn't work like that anyway. Time isn't linear. It's more like energy flows. Um, time is just an illusion. But you don't want to, like, be the same person you used to be. You want to keep moving. This is about growth and a lot of times people are like so focused on, I'm trying to hold on to everything that has been mine. And I want to go back to how things used to be because that's where I'm comfortable at. But we have to step outside of our comfort zone. And that's very important. And trust and believe and have faith. Um, we have the despair and the concern card. So there is a certain amount of anxiety in this spread. And I do believe that has to do with being too focused on the material world and too focused on trying to hold on to things and trying to keep up with the status quo, keep things just like they were instead of letting go and, and wanting to move and flow. The key here is to ebb and flow and not say stay stagnant. And that involves... Um, trust and really having faith and really trusting in the universe or your higher power um, that it has your best interest at heart and sometimes faith is hard but just know that whatever is for you is for you and whatever isn't will fall away and we have to be ready to let things go that no longer serve us um, here we have the good witch card this is um my goddess um, oracle deck and what I'm getting with this is that you are stepping into your power but use your powers for good instead of um, when you step into your power this involves a certain amount of humility and this involves um, not seeing yourself as being better than anybody else um, because that is from the ego. Um, it's all right to be self-confident. It's all right to have um, self-esteem, but not at the expense of others. Um, try not to look down on or judge anybody else who hasn't been through what you've been through. A lot of times um, we even get into this um, energy of because we have triumphed, we have overcame so many obstacles, and we are so empowered because Scorpios are a very powerful sign. We want to look at the other signs like, you know, um, our other people, like somehow we are more powerful than them or um, we're stronger than them, we're better than them. You know, a lot of times... 
a little humility goes a long way. And I'm not saying, you know, you are egotistical, but this is an ego card. This is all about being an ego, and this is all about judging situations and judging people. And um, we need to get away from that. We need to get away from... Um, because basically when you do look down on others or you do feel like you are somehow superior to others, that reflects more on you than it does on the person. Because that is a false sense of self. That is a false sense of ego. And that means that there's something not aligned inside. That means that you still, like, on a very, very basic, very primitive level, still do not feel good about yourself. So this is all about releasing that and releasing ego and um, letting go and letting flow. And basically to each his own, not being in any type of self-righteous energy. This is like a self-righteous energy. And I understand because I get in that energy too where I'm like, nobody knows what I've been through. And, and everything that I've been through just makes me so much more powerful than everybody else. <laughs> Um, so this is all about releasing that. Everyone has their own journey. And use your powers for good. Um, use your empathy. Use your sympathy to help others. Um, it's all about karmic balancing. We have the Bright Destiny card. And let me see what this says. This says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Once again, this is about change. This is about not resisting what's happening right now because this is a confirmation of what I was saying earlier because you're not going to be the same person that you were. So stop trying to hold on to that. Stop trying to um, not change. Go ahead and become the butterfly that you're meant to become and go ahead and let it happen. Let it flow. Um, because, like I said, we're not even this. You're not even the same person that you were before you started listening to this video. That's how energy works. So release that, and you are becoming the mature woman and the mature man. And you are releasing all of this anxiety that you have, and you are releasing judgment, and getting out of your ego, and becoming the butterfly. Peacock Priestess, I am enough, mother, daughter, sister, lover. And this is about embracing yourself and about that self-esteem that I said that somehow is missing over here. That is, you are coming into as you become the butterfly. Um, because you are step, and this can be a masculine card too. This can be uh, father, uh, son, brother, lover. Uh, this is not just for women. I know sometimes it seems like I'm reading only for women, but I'm not. Um, but this is about knowing that you're enough. This is about realizing that uh, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just surrender and be yourself and allow this process to take place. Do a little self-reflection. Um, release judgment. Um, with the anxiety, as far as that goes, um, meditate. There's plenty of guided meditations on YouTube. Get outdoors more. I know here in Indiana, it's still very cold, so it's kind of hard to do that, but spring is coming. Um, releasing any type of expectations or stress around the material world. Um, being in a place of recovery. Um... And, and just basically just releasing things. This is this spread here is all about acceptance. This is the acceptance spread. In fact, that's going to be the title. <laughs> um, but this is your weekly reading, Scorpio. And um, you can book a personal reading with me. I'll include my contact information in the description. And I'm going to be doing these uh, readings at the beginning of every week. So do um, please like and subscribe. And I will share the link to the blog um, that I write in that's about my, um, my journey, my spiritual journey that I have been on. Thank you for watching.